It is London in the early 1900s, and the spring has brought forth cherry tree blossoms blooming on cherry tree lane. And in the nearby park, Bert a chimney sweep is coming home from a long day, singing and humming. He stops to talk with his friend Admiral Boom. Admiral Boom is looking at the sky. This is a brief understanding for the neighboring households are in complete turmoil. The youngsters, Jade and Michael, are missing. Their nanny has quit, and the maid and cook are quarreling. Good riddance to her. I'm glad she's going. I never liked her anyway. Yes, but I'm the one who gets stuck taking care of the children.
must be witty, very sweet and fairly pretty. Take us on dates, the streets, sing songs, bring sweets. If you won't scold and dominate us, we will never give you us to pay us. We won't hide your spectacles so you can't see. Put toads in your bed or pepper in your tea. Hurry. Many thanks, Sally, Jane, and Michael Banks. He tears up their arm and flings it in the fireplace. A very strange thing happens. The bits of paper are mysteriously and magically drawn up the chimney not in the night sky. The next morning, the children watch from their nursery window at the most incredible sight. The wind starts to blow with the hurricane force as a woman with an umbrella in one hand and a carpet bag in the other. Other floats to the sky. It's she. Oh, it's okay. she floats gently down to a tree lane, and the children can see that in spite of the east winds, her clothes were ruffled and hair was unmust. Michael and Jane had a glimpse of rosy cheeks and a secret cheery sort of smile as she lowered her umbrella. It's she. It's the nanny. Person on the doorstep gave the bell a vigorous ring. The maid opened the door, and the young woman marched directly to the drawing room where Mr. Banks conducted the interview. You are the father of Jane and Michael Banks? Oh, yes, of course. I am Mary Poppins. <laughs> Mr. Banks is completely amazed that somehow Mary Poppins has to torn up out of Jane and Michael's. She conducts the interview and succeeds in becoming the new nanny. I'd like to speak with the children now. All right, children, let's get on with things and tidy up the nursery. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun.
With a bit of her best magic, Mary Poppins takes them into one of Bird's paintings. They go off to a country fair and find a merry-go-round. The horses prance off and take their riders for a brisk ride. They become involved in a fox hunt, during which Bert rescues the tired little fox. Next, they join an exciting horse race. Mary Poppins finishes first and is taken to the winner's circle. Hysterical. 
to the rooftop. When Mary arrives home, she and Bert follow the children up to the rooftop to look for them. The little group travels across the rooftops of London and bumps into Bert's chimney sweep pals. The sweeps decide to have a celebration song and dance.
The children and the parents are flying kites. Mary's watching from a window. She knows it's time to leave. The Banks are now family. Oh, and Mr. Banks does get his job back. It even seems like Mr. Dawes has been affected by Mary Poppins matter. He realizes that Mr. Banks is a good worker and rewards him with the promotion. As the kites soar higher and higher into the sky, Mary Poppins floats upward, holding fast to her umbrella. No one sees her go but Bert with a broad smile he waves. You did an outstanding job. You did not. Um, before we close our program, I want to make sure to um, thank a few people. First of all, I want to give a big round of applause also to the classroom teachers, because you can imagine this can't happen unless they help out. Also, we have some, we had some wonderful parent volunteers this year. Um, Sonia Dahlstrom kind of organized the parent volunteers, and I want to thank the people who worked up in the scenery: Catherine Shillelagh, Susan Brand, Simone Lee, Andrea Witt, Lisa, Pag oops, Lisa Paglio Rulo, and Jean Plonsky. I want to thank. You. Most of all, I want to give, I want to thank most of the boys and girls who did such an outstanding job. Let's give them another round of applause. Yeah. 